Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting, I would say a quick, tricky and relaxing math question. Here you can see this question in the middle of the screen. We have 3 here, right here we have parentheses, 1 minus 3 divided by 3. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however, many people are going to get this problem incorrect. So if you could do that without a calculator, write your solution down into the comment section. Right here we have 4 options, so you can easily check your answer with these options. We have option A, option B, option C and option D, so you can easily check your answer, check your solution down into the comment section. So right now let's test our algebra skills, let's test our school knowledge and write your solution down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. So what makes all the difference in the world in the order we do this problem? Because if you look closely, we have right here a lot of elements. We have right here multiplication, so in this moment we have multiplication. We have parentheses at this point, so right here and right here we have parentheses. We have subtraction at this point and we have division. So as you can see, we have four mathematical, mathematical elements. And to be honest, we have three and one, so we have constant. So it's also great, but I don't want to mention this constant right here. So we have four elements. And what makes all the difference in the world in the order we do this problem? Because in terms of math and in terms of like every science, we need to know what is the correct principle, correct algorithm, correct method to solve this question. And in terms of math, whenever we have expression with a lot of these things, we need to know what is the correct order order to perform all of this stuff because maybe we need to perform multiplication first maybe we need to perform parentheses maybe we need to subtract right here one minus three and you know it turns into a big argument because a lot of students argue what we need to do at first and obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different a different answer for example if we start with multiplication maybe we have maybe we have zero as a correct answer maybe we start with parentheses maybe something we need to evaluate the expression on the left on the right side we have maybe minus two maybe we need to start with this division so as a result we will get like maybe three as a correct answer and you know it's really weird to solve this question with three different answer we need to know about a correct principle correct correct algorithm and uh, the best thing to understand it is to learn a little bit about order of operation this is extremely important part in terms of math because it helps us to order all of this stuff in a correct way and then after learning a little bit about this order of operation we can easily say information about a correct answer okay so right now let's look closely let's look closely at this thing which is called order of operation here's our order of operation which is called pandas order of operation maybe you hear about it maybe you don't hear about it but to be honest this is our order of operation each of these letters stands for something so letter p letter e m d a c stands for something and maybe a lot of students know a little bit about board mass which is also our order of operation but to be honest this is absolutely the same thing with pandas it just depending on what country you live in for example this pandas mainly used in india uh, sorry not in india i guess in europe in the usa in canada this board mass uh, mainly used in uk in india and a lot of countries but to be honest the principle the meaning the algorithm is absolutely the same for both orders of operation so uh, in my case i'm gonna use pandas order of operation so for this question, PEMDAS, BODMAS, doesn't matter, so right now I'm going to use PEMDAS order of operation. So right now I'm going to start with this left side, because elements on the left side will have the higher priority than this one on the right side, okay? So right now let's start with this letter P. Letter P stands for parentheses. We are talking about these type of brackets, we are talking about this type of squiggly brackets, sometimes people use it, we are talking about this type of brackets. So right now uh, the meaning is the next one. We are talking about group and symbols. So the first thing to evaluate the expression with like a mixture of parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, maybe sometimes like inner parentheses sometimes happen the thing, we need to find our group and symbols. So parentheses have a group and symbols. So right now let's scan our question. So right here let's scan it. In terms of our group and symbols. So right now let's do this. Where do we have our group and symbols? Where do we have our parentheses? We have parentheses right here and we have parentheses right here. So it means that we should first of all evaluate this expression inside parentheses. And if we scan our question, we have three okay, uh, in front of these parentheses. So it means that we need to find this expression inside parentheses. We need to evaluate it and in the end we need to multiply it this expression by this by this three so the first step is to evaluate this expression inside inside parentheses so what do we have inside parentheses we have one minus three divided <coughs> divided by three <coughs> sorry <coughs> okay so we have our our expression and right now let's scan what do we have in our expression because we have one minus three divided by three 
So as you can see, we can easily say that we complete this parentheses part, but not, not at all, because we need to evaluate this expression. And right now, how can we evaluate this type of expression? First of all, I'm going to scan real quick in terms of exponents, because maybe we have exponents in our question, but what do you mean exponents? It means powers like 2 to the 5, 3 to the 10, uh, 20 to the power 10. So we're talking about this thing, we're talking about powers, so don't be confused about it, but in our case, we don't have it. So I'm, I want to real quick cancel this part just uh, for a faster solution. I'm going to cancel this part. And right now, let's look closely in our, in our expression right here. So we need to evaluate this expression. We have 1 minus 3 divided by 3. And of course, there are two ways how can we solve this question. The first way to start from left to right, maybe we have like 1 minus 3, we have minus 2, and minus 2 divided by 3, maybe minus 2 third. Or we need to divide it first, maybe 1 minus 1 minus 3 divided by 3 equal to 1. So maybe right here we have 0. So we know we have two, two ways, like two branches, the first one and the second one. And how can we solve this type of question? We need to scan what do we have right here. We have subtraction and division. Right now I'm going to show real quick how can we call this uh, letter. So letter M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for for subtraction, okay? And right now, as I told before, we're talking about priorities. So it means that elements on the left side will have the higher priority than the elements on the right side. So, and right now, let's scan what do we have in our question. We have subtraction, we have right here subtraction, we have division right here, and of course, we don't have multiplication. We have it right here, but to be honest, this is our last step, so in, in the end, we don't need this multiplication part because we can easily multiply these three by this constant. And we don't have don't have addition. So right now I'm going to mention one really important moment. In this parenthesis, we have subtraction and division. We have this part, this part, a division and subtraction. And right now let's look closely. What elements comes first from left to right? Division or subtraction. Okay, let's let's scan where do we have it. On the left side, here is our left side, here is our right side, and of course division comes first, comes first from left, from left to right. So it means that division we need to do at first. Okay, so in our question, we need to put like quick imaginary brackets right here, something like that, and we can easily say that division first, so as a result we have division first, so as a result we have 1 in this division part, and 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So forget real quick, forget about this approach. I just write it, I want you to see this two branches, how can we how can we order all of this stuff right here, but to be honest, this is a very, very, very bad approach. So just I wanted to erase this, I don't know, like I'm gonna erase this real quick, because subtraction before division, this is very big mistake. So as I said before, subtraction, uh, division first, so as a result we have 1 minus as 3 divided by 3 equal to 1, and of course I'm gonna keep this parenthesis, because we, we like haven't evaluated uh, this parenthesis yet, because we have uh, the last thing subtraction, but we complete this division part, we complete it, we are really proud. Yeah, and of course, we need to rewrite right now this 3. Don't forget about this, this is like nothing bad, but you need to, to remember about this 3. And as a result, we, as I said before, we need to evaluate this expression inside parentheses. Inside parentheses we have 3 right here, and inside parentheses we have times 1 minus 1 equal to equal to 0, okay? And as a result, 3 times 0. Of course, we have this multiplication, so we can mention, okay, we have multiplication. But to be honest, when you have last thing to, like, multiply, to add, for example, in the end, you can easily have 2 plus 2. So you don't need, like, to look at this uh, order of operation, like, to add it, okay? So just just uh, evaluate it at first with the, like, complicated stuff. Maybe you have parentheses, inner parentheses, like, you have exponent powers. Yeah, but in the end, we have 3 times 0, which is equal to equal to zero. And this looks like zero is a correct answer. So as I said before, we need to look at this PEMDAS order of operation. First of all, parentheses. Second, let's scan what do we have inside parentheses, because first of all, we need to evaluate this expression inside parentheses. And inside parentheses, we have a mixture of subtraction and division, okay? And of course, I'm going to write a general, general rule for you. Maybe uh, this rule will help you sometimes, okay? So I'm going to talk about this multiplication and division part. I'm not talking about exponents because in terms of this type of expression, basic uh, algebra expression, we don't have like these exponents a lot of times, so maybe we have parentheses. But to be honest, the main thing is to learn how can we work with this multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So for example, we have a quick expression like 2 minus 2 divided by 3 plus 9 divided by, divided by 4 minus 7 times 8, for example, something like that. And whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division and addition subtraction, first of all, we need to evaluate the expression with multiplication division sign at first, 
And the next thing, we need to jump to addition and subtraction. But to be honest, at this point, when we have only addition and subtraction, we don't need this order of operation anymore because this is very basic thing. For example, we have what do we have right here? We have a mixture of subtraction, division, addition, and multiplication. Really great. And right now, we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponents. I'm talking about the basic example, okay, with per without parentheses and exponents. So whenever we have expression with the uh, subtraction, division, like multiplication and uh, addition, we need to scan what we have our multiplication division sign. So let's put imaginary brackets right here, 2 divided by 3, our first step. The next thing, 9 divided by 4, and the last step, 7. Uh, 7 times 8, okay? I can't divide it uh, in my head because right here we have like approximately because 2 divided by 3 it looks like 0 0.66 so it's not a good way like to simplify it at all. But first of all you need to mention that you need to evaluate right here at first, you need to evaluate right here at first, and you need to evaluate it right here at first. And in the end we have subtraction, we have the addition, and we have subtraction between these brackets, okay? So this is the main thing. Mul uh, division and multiplication at first. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <laughs> and next we have we have addition and and subtraction okay here here we have our our order and of course here's our zero is the correct answer right now let's let's look closely in the beginning where we have yeah we have this answer it looks like zero right here as a correct, correct answer to this question you can easily be be proud of yourself that you solve this question like that and the correct answer is is zero you should be easily you should be proud of yourself but you know there are a lot of really interesting approaches a lot of students try to multiply three times one three times three so somehow they try to evaluate it in a wrong order but correct answer is zero so when you choose correct answer minus two three and six well you should be you should review a little bit your basic math this is a wrong wrong approaches you need to review a little bit your basic math because when you choose minus two something wrong something wrong with three something wrong with six and the correct answer in our question is is zero which is absolutely correct answer nowadays you can easily check the answer in your calculator just plug in this question right now with me but you know plug in the whole question from left to right side don't plug in like in the beginning we have three and one don't plug in this thing like three times and parentheses one because you know sometimes happen that those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in so for example you plug in the beginning three times one and as a result some calculators say okay right here we have three but you know, try to plug in the whole question. So minus three and divided by by three. Plug in the thing, plug in this question from from left to right side, and then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation because we have right here parentheses, multiplication, subtraction, three division, parentheses, and three. And you know, and calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. Every calculator say, okay, parentheses first. Division second, subtraction third, and in the end, this multiplication because parentheses has the highest priority. So, it was my explanation about this question. I really hope you get the point. I really hope you learn something new. I really hope you understand why a zero is a correct answer, why minus two, three, and six. All these answers are wrong. I really hope you get the point. I really hope you understand it. And you can also write your response down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it it will be really interesting to exchange information and i really hope you you enjoy this content i really hope you watch my videos i'm doing my best to make you like this is not like the hard to be honest uh, the hard math questions uh, i'm not talking about like integrals like derivatives like uh, complicated this is like a quick relaxing question for you i really hope you you enjoy it i really I uh, appreciate that you watch my videos because this is not like um, the type of content that a lot of students, uh, I would say, need because this is like basic math. It's not like a complicated math question. A lot of students need like theorems. A lot of students need need like uh, really interesting methods of uh, higher mathematics tricks right here, like algebra, algebraic equation. Yeah, they they need it. This is like a question. This is like the type of question that maybe a lot of students don't need it. But I hope I. I get my uh, like audience right here, which like uh, enjoy this type of content and enjoy these uh, really interesting algebra questions. I have more than like maybe like 200 or 300 videos on my YouTube channel about this type of question, about basic math, math questions. So I really hope you practice this, uh, this uh, question with me every day and I really appreciate your response, kind response, like uh, if you leave a dislike, I really appreciate it that you say, okay, something wrong with it. I try to fix it. I try to, to do it in, the, in the, the best way, to create this content in the best way. And I do my best like to 
to explain it in an easy way and i really hope you you enjoy this so wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself if it's not hard to you you can easily leave a like write any comment it, it really inspires me a lot it's really i really appreciate it so wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself have a great day and see you in the next videos